Hey everybody, Scott Detweiler here. If you're a mid-journey user, you probably noticed that uh, hands tend to look like bags of sausages and faces tend not to work out real well. There's actually a pretty elegant solution to this that's available for free, and that is Dolly 2. So I want to show you real quick how you can take a part of an image you're working on in mid-journey and have Dolly 2 help you with that piece and then bring it all back into Photoshop to bring it together. Now I did this yesterday during a live stream and some people commented on it. They're like, oh, I never thought about that before. Because you do get 10 free credits with Dali every month. So if you're on that beta list for that now, you can certainly use that tool to help you resolve the issue that Midjourney currently has. So let me show you how to do it with a picture I just did. All right, so here we are in Discord. And you can see I've just kind of worked on this scene here, this kind of steampunk scene. And uh, Mid Journey did have difficulties with the head part. So there's definitely a head, but I can't really tell what's going on there. What I would love to have in this scene is a Mark V diver's helmet. If you're not familiar with what that looks like, that's one of these things. I think these are really awesome. And I did make one actually uh, from scratch out of EVA foam when COVID first started, because I've never made anything like that before. And it was pretty fun. Uh, so I'm kind of addicted to them right now. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to replace this guy's head with one of those, um, one of those helmets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into Dolly 2 real quick. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come into Dolly 2 here. We're going to upload the full resolution uh, maximum export from uh, Midjourney. This is the one that I want to use here. I do have a light version as well. And then here's some of the ones we did yesterday during the live stream. We can see we started with a hand like this and we just simply replaced it in Dolly. So we're going to go in here and we're going to just kind of pick that there and say edit image. And we, because we only need to really change this helmet, right? So you can change the size of the brush over here. And so we just need to put a helmet on this gentleman here. So uh, we'll put it right there. And let's see how that does. Okay. This is what it gave us. That's kind of a helmet. That's actually not too bad. Uh, it doesn't quite look like the helmet I was thinking of, but it's definitely interesting. And this is more helmet like. Still not quite ideal. Well, but not horrible. Um, keep in mind here that the largest image that Dolly can kick out is around 512 pixels square. So if we want to have it into an image that is 1500 pixels from mid journey, we should probably crop in on it a bit first. Not too bad. I think I like this one quite a bit. I'll keep that one. Download it. Gonna land it to me here. I'm just gonna drag it into the document. And then we need to position it. So to do that, I usually just uh, enter it. So I'm gonna accept it here. Hit five on my keyboard while I'm in the move, which will make it somewhat transparent. And then I can control T to get it down into the position where I want it to be. Somewhere like in here. Then I'll go ahead and put a mask on this by holding alt clicking mask hit B for brush and I can go ahead and then mask in the part that I want to keep and continue to shift it if needed. Something like that. There we go. Anyway, I've been using this to kind of solve some problems that Midjourney has been handing me specifically hands and faces. Now I do exchange the faces in a lot of my work with my photography. So that hasn't been a major concern, but in situations where this one, I know exactly what it is that I want. And the journey may not hand me exactly that item. I can go into Dolly two and pull it again. You get 10 free credits with Dolly, which is enough to kind of research this. This took us two credits to build, um, which isn't too, too shabby. Yesterday took us also two credits to get the hand the way we wanted it. You're working on the prompt crafting and so long to get what you're looking for out of the engine is just as important to Dolly as it is in mid journey but I think this is a nice solution and it can help us in some places where mid journey isn't strong yet. Everybody take care, stay safe and I'll catch you next time.